What is up, Obscure Mike people? Bear with me on this one because it's a lav mic, and I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm not a big fan of lav mics, just not. Now, the reason being, I'll start off here. When they're underneath your chin, I just don't think they pick up very well. But as you get them more out in the front, they actually do pick up really well. So it's like the best sound to me is near your mouth still. So when you go here, you lose a lot. You lose a lot. And that's one of the things I really hate about lav mics, but I digress. I'm just gonna do this actually, because it just sounds better and it actually sounds decent. But today we are checking out the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000. It is a wireless microphone system and it's actually pretty cool. Runs 300 bucks, 299 on Amazon, but you get a four person setup or a four production setup in this package. Let me show you what all comes in the box, but it's all just such a convoluted box of so much stuff that I'm, I'm going to clip this back on and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go through, we'll go through the items real quick. You're going to get four of these body packs, these clip on UHF body packs. I'm going to get four of those that take a mini XLR plug that open up from the front and take two AA batteries included by the way they are included you're going to get eight different things to plug into these you're going to get four of these clip-on lab mics like i'm using now two of them are going to be black two of them are going to be of a beige variety so four body packs four labs two black two cream <laughs> Then you're also gonna get four of these headsets, just a wired, well, wire headset, which I'll demonstrate in the second half of this video with a little temple pad there and a little gooseneck mic there. Also two black and two of the beige variety. So, a lot of options already so far. You're going to get four antennas that screw on the back of the device. And I'm gonna show you the device. Now you are also gonna get a quarter inch to quarter inch with a quarter inch to 3.5. Now before I show you the actual device itself, I do want you to know I'm running it into the Donner LiveJack M audio interface. And I've got that plugged in with a quarter inch TRS. Now I'll show you the actual head unit of this device. The Phoenix Pro PTU 7000 is a rack mount unit. So you got your rack mount connections there, a power button. You've got your channel set for channels one and two. So body pack, body pack. Set that one set that one you got four gain dials and then the right side is the same as the left side body pack three body pack four set your frequency it's uhf it is all metal and on the back of the unit you have antenna connections i left one antenna out for you but these are what controls the, uh, what receives the body pack. We got some outputs for each channel. So if you just wanted to do body pack three, body pack four, you could do that. We've got a mix out. So this is for the whole mix, which is the quarter inch TRS cable that's going into the Donner that I showed you earlier. But there's body pack one, two, three, four. So you can do a four track thing separate tracks or you can mix it all down uh, then we've got the power input takes a power pack of course and then our other two antennas there 
but that's the back of the Phoenix Pro. So it's not an audio interface. You're going to have to run this out analog wise into something like a Behringer UV1 or a Donner Live Jack M or something like that. Now, I'm going to go to a little experiment that I did with this device. I got some guest podcast hosts and went up into the studio and we made a little short production for you. Don't mind video quality. Not the greatest because it was hard to get a wide angle with them both in the shot. So I had to use like my crummiest webcam that had a wide angle. But you'll at least hear the audio. So let's cut to that video now for your podcast use example for the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000. Then we'll come back with one of the headsets on and we'll rock and roll from there and give final thoughts on this setup for $299. B-roll. All right, so now we're going to do the test of the headsets running through the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000. I've got that running out quarter inch jack from the main mix out into the Donner Live Jack M. And I've got a headset. My co-host Jude has a headset. My co-host Connor has a headset. And we're going to do um, a little bit of a... Uh, podcast style thing yep so let's talk about let's just talk about like our favorite video game characters jude who's the best video game character and, and why like why and who and just break it down for me let me think it would have to be lucario from pokemon or pokemon Unite or any Pokemon game that Lucario is available because okay. he has an attack. He has two attacks that I really like, Bone Rush and Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere is kind of like a Dragon Ball Z type Hamehameha ha, 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 kind of thing. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, and then Bone Rush is just yeah. where he like just is where he like sneaks up from behind and then just ambushes you with a bunch of bones. With a bunch of bones. Okay, Connor, what do you think? Who's the best one, video go. game character, and why do you think they're the best video game character? Yeah. Abra from uh, Pokemon Quest. Abra has very, very good attacks. Okay, so Abra from Pokemon Quest, because he has very good attacks. I'm going to have to say... My favorite video game character is Crash Bandicoot. Because oh, yeah. Poobadaka, 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 oh, yeah. Poobadaka. It had to be yours because you downloaded oh, Crash that game. Crash Bandicoot, hands down. It's just, that's just what it is. Yeah, you downloaded it's it Crash on the Bandicoot. Switch. No if ands, or buts about it. Crash Bandicoot. Now we're going to do the same test, but with the lav mics, not the headset mics. We're going to use the lav mics. Okay, so now we've got the lav mics clipped on. My co-host Jude's got one. My co-host Connor's got one. And now let's talk about the best video game villain. J Jude went first last time. Connor, who's the best video game villain out there? Piranha Plant. Piranha Plants from Mario? Yes. Okay, well, that's a pretty good answer. And why? Why is Piranha Plants your, your favorite? Because... Mm, in Super Mario 3D Worlds, if you get right in front of them, if you stay there forever, soon they will just bite you. Oh, okay. Jude, who is your favorite villain, video game-wise? Does it have to be and video game-wise? Yes. Crap. I don't really know that many video game wise villains. Okay, so who would be your favorite villain not in a video game? Though? Obviously, Carnage. Carnage? Yeah. Okay, why? Because he can like shape shift into all these things and change his body parts, and he can even like, whenever you get, like, get shot by a gun, he can just like move his like body parts like right here so it doesn't shoot it, just shoots right past. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So there you have it. Uh, the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000 with, uh, like in a podcast format with a body pack headset mic or body pack lav mic. And this is exactly what that sounded like. Podcast buddies, 
tell them to subscribe, hit the notification bell, send all their money, and uh, that should be it. That should be good. Give me V-Bucks, and also, is there actually 7,000 of these? What's a V-Buck? Money in Fortnite, really? I don't I don't play Fortnite. Connor, what do you have to tell them? Rate, subscribe, hit the like button, what else? Click, subscribe, and you can see every video in YouTube and in YouTube Kids. Excellent advice. Let's get back to the video where it's just me and no podcast co-hosts. Hey! Sorry. Okay, so now that you saw the B-roll and how that all worked, I've got one of the cream-colored headsets here. And as you can hear, it sounds pretty solid, honestly. This is my favorite part about this setup. Like, if you wanted to just have a four-person podcast roundtable and use these microphones, you're going to get some pretty decent results. Now, of course, it is a UHF device, so you want as little going on in your studio or space as possible to cut down on interference and frequencies. I do hear every great once in a while like a little cut in, cut out on this, but I am sitting in a space with a lot of electronics, some lighting, all that good stuff. But overall, it's still performing fairly well and it sounds really good. So if this is like one of the only devices you have set up, I think it's going to work really, really well with minimal interference. And again, you don't need mic stands. Uh, you know, windscreens, mics, this is, this is everything, everything you need all in this setup. And I actually think for two ninety nine for four people, this would be great for the backstreet boys. They probably had this exact same setup, maybe in sync, you know, maybe those guys who, who's saying that summertime always lots of hits, fast food makes me sick. I don't even the summer UFO, LFO, LFA, MFI. I don't freaking know, but this would benefit an aspiring boy band pretty cool stuff honestly i mean i think that this sounds pretty good and the lav mic sounds good if you can get it in position to sound good but man i have such a hard time with lav mics they drive me nuts you put them under your chin of course it's going to sound muffled will it sound better than like your phone's audio or your camera's audio yeah it will and that is the point but for the audio folks that come to this channel, I don't think many of you are really interested in labs, which is unfortunate because I've got a lot of lab reviews coming up. I may just boil that down to lab week. Maybe this week is lab week. I apologize in advance. Well, I think these things have some great value and provide some uh, really good audio. I'm actually really, this is the best I've tested so far. Of all the labs that I'm going to feature on the channel in the coming days, this is probably my favorite thus far because it does provide pretty good sound without buying anything else. No mic stands, no nothing. Just get this thing wired up, run it in straight into your computer or an interface or whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. And it just works for $2.99. So if you like wireless things, if you want to start a boy band, I want it that way. Tell me why. Hey, by watch Brooklyn Nine Nine. Why? Great scene. Anyways, Phoenix Pro, two ninety nine. Let's go ahead and queue up the BB SAR on it. I'm not going to pull any punches here. I think it's worth buying, especially if you're looking for a wireless situation. What the hell's a situation? The guy from Jersey Shore. What is wrong with me today? If you're looking for a wireless setup. Here you go. You want to do like a uh, interview show, like you're trying to, maybe, maybe you're making a show in your basement. You want to use those labs. You got that option. You want to get some better audio, do a live performance or a podcast, use the headsets. You get eight mics with this thing for lots of different use cases. So for that, I think I got to get it, give it a seven. I think it's definitely worth a buy. It's pretty cool. The quality is solid. These headset mics, I think sound better than a whole lot of handheld microphones and small diaphragm condenser microphones. This sounds a lot better than those, but that's really all I got for you. I think this thing's easily worth a buy for the right use case. I wouldn't go out and just purchase it for podcasting. I wouldn't go out and purchase it just for, you know, a one man production, nothing like that. This is going to be if you're looking for that wireless setup to do your talk show in your basement, to do your four person podcast, to do your boy band. This is what this is for. And for $2.99, this is cheap. For what you're getting here, 
This is cheap. Phoenix Pro, pretty good stuff. Let's move on. Let's move on to more labs this week. Maybe something will show me the way of the lab, but currently for my use case and needs, it's just not there, but we'll see. Maybe something blows me away. I've got stuff from Boya, Ceramonic, uh, a company I can't remember, but I've got more lav mics coming. <sighs> Should be interesting. Barks out of here. Obscure mics. Peace out.